Hi guys and welcome back. So in this uh, tutorial we're going to be working with Adobe Flash. Now why the hell do we want to work with Flash? Well, if we just take a look at the HTML what we've done so far, what we've got here, and this all builds into a concept called graceful degradation. What our browser is going to do is it's going to say, right, here's what we want to do. We want to use HTML5 video first. So it's going to say, can I use MP4? If it can, it will. If it can't, it'll move on to the next lines until it finds a format that it can use. Now, assume the user is um, using either a browser or a device which can't yet support HTML5 video. Then we need to think, well, how can we deliver this content to them? And this is where Flash comes in. So if we can't use the inbuilt players, we will then decide, let's use a plugin. And in this case, we're going to be using Flash. Um, you could continue going down this graceful degradation ladder, if you like, by sort of adding in the option to download the video. Perhaps you would want to create like a slideshow with images and text on it. Uh, there's a myriad of things that you can do to ensure that the video that um, you want to be played can be played. But in this instance, we're going to be looking at Flash and how we can um, use these videos in Flash so that it a user in an old browser can access the content and it's quite simple but it does require that you have flash um, and this is the full version I do recognize it's not cheap but um, in this instance it's necessary so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new action script 3.0 file and that's going to give us a blank document here a blank canvas um, a couple of things you want to take note of. We have this properties um, sort of uh, list, drop down list here with a size value of 550 and 400 pixels. That's the size of the canvas. Uh, we'll leave that as it is for now. So, what we're going to want to do is to begin with, we're going to want to save this uh, file. So, I'm going to navigate to the directory where my uh, sort of root directory is which is here, the H15 video, and then in the videos, I'm going to put it in here. I'm just going to call it uh, Flash Player. Okay. Now, let's get the, um, the skin or the controls put in here. So if I go onto Window and go to Components, it brings up this box here. And under this Components tab, in the Video folder, you want to use this FLV Playback. We click and drag that onto the canvas, we get this, this box that sort of comes up. So I'm just going to get rid of that now, and I'm going to change the width and the height values here to that of the canvas, which is 550 by 400. Okay. And I'm just going to center this here, just back onto the screen. Right. Now, what we can do is if you, in this component parameters menu here, you've got a lot of different properties. Um, there's two important ones here, the skin and the source. So in skin, if you click on this little pencil, um, you get this select skin uh, pop-up box here. And in here, we can sort of select a myriad of, of different skins that you can use. Um, they all look a little bit different here, but, uh, you know, it's just a play button. Um, I'm going to use this one though, this is actually, I think this is the default one, so we'll stick with this for now. And you can also, if you want to, change the colour. So I don't know, you can have a weird red, uh, blue, whatever. I'll just stick to the sort of default one here. And if I press OK, uh, we've, we've got the skin under here anyway, so this is what it looks like. Now, um, I'm going to need to select a source and the source refers to the video that we're going to use so again if I click on this pencil here we've got a content path box that appears um, if I click on the folder uh, we're already in the right directory so we've got two videos here now this is the AVI one the video that we already use we don't want that we want to use this mp4 video here and if I open that and press OK uh, it's, uh, we've the video size is, is massive now but We'll just change that here in the position and size box here, which was 550 by 400. 
we'll just center that. You're going to get a little bit of white space, and that's because of the dimensions of the uh, the video itself. So that's why that looks like that. Um, and you can change the canvas size to, to fit. If you go on Modify and Document. It should bring up a pop-up box where you can modify the dimensions, or alternatively, just click uh, click on the canvas here, and not on this object. Um, you can modify it here, as we did sort of in the beginning, or looked at in the beginning, I should say. So I'll just save that now, and if we go to File and Publish Settings, or Control Shift and F12 on the keyboard, it brings up this Publish Settings dialog box here, and you want to make sure two things are ticked, and they already are in this case. The Flash.Swift thing here, and this HTML wrapper. And the HTML wrapper is going to have all the HTML that we'll need, and the Flash is effectively the file itself. So if I press Publish, and I'll publish that, and I press OK, and we look in our uh, videos directory, we've got a, a host of new files. We've got this HTML file here, the original uh, sort of flash file that we can play with, and you're going to want to keep that open. The Swift file, which has got the, the content on it, and uh, this skin here. So if I just open up this in uh, my text editor, it's generated an HTML file. Uh, and this is obviously, as you can tell by the how it's defined, it's an older version uh, of HTML, X, uh, XHTM, by the looks of things. So, or XHTML 1.0, actually. Um, what we're going to need to do is copy this object here, and we're going to paste it into our index uh, in the video uh, in, in the video element uh, underneath the sources. So if I paste that in, now we've got a a lot of lines of code here, and this is good because it means that we don't have to type all this. But there are a few problems now. Because of where Flash published this in the videos folder, this HTML document and all of this assumes that everything is going to be inside the same folder. So to illustrate this, if I go back into the text editor and on the first line here uh, underneath the object element, this parameter says a value flashplay.swift. This is in the index file. The index file is located here in the root directory but the Swift file is located here, so you can see there's an automatic problem there, that this won't play, it's going to be looking for something that isn't there. Um, the correct way of doing this is kind of what we've done up here, where the source is saying, say for this OG file here, it's video slash video.ogv. We want to just copy this, or you could just write it if you wanted to. If I double click here, there's four things that I've highlighted. This ID here doesn't matter because it's just an object ID, but these rest do. Um, so literally just behind uh, these you want to just either write videos slash or uh, paste in the directory here uh, prior to this file. You're going to want to do this in all three instances. Like I say, this object ID, it's not necessary that you do that. But as long as now we've sorted that out. So if I save this index file, what should happen is the video will play, but you're not going to have any uh, a skin, and I'll explain. It's the exact same problem. So if I just load this here. So, okay, um, it's saying I haven't got Flash, but it's actually brought up this ActiveX warning here. And this is a good thing, because um, what it's doing, if we take a look in the HTML, is it's saying that if we haven't got any of this, uh, we've got a link here to Adobe's Get Flash thing, uh, and the image, which is obviously online, which is the get uh, get flash player dot gif, and uh, that's what this is. So if a user hasn't got it, um, they can click that and get flash. Now we've just got this uh, ActiveX warning here, so we want to just allow block content and click yes. And the video hopefully should load, and it does. But as you can see, we've not got the controls. Um, because when we selected this in Flash. You can see here this this skin is actually linking to something. Um, it's creating the skin and then linking to this skin, which again is in the same folder. To fix this on the skin, uh, you want to click the pencil. So we're back on this window again. Uh, this drop-down list, 
and you want to scroll all the way down until the bottom where you see a custom skin URL and in this video file this is what we want to link to this skin over place dot seek mute vol file it's a mouthful so if we copy that or the name of that file uh, go back into flash uh, set the path which is videos slash that the the name of the file dot swf we press ok it's going to change this in the flash document but that's fine if i save that and we can go and publish this again it should generate the flash file in the exact same it'll generate new flash files it'll generate a new html file and all the rest of it and, uh, as you can see here it has generated a new thing because uh, this has been modified by another program so it's made all new files uh, we can reload it yeah that's fine um, but the difference is, is that the swift file I don't know what that was. Uh, the Swift file um, is now linking to the correct location. So if we go back uh, and open the index page and we go to this IE thing here, we'll allow the block content and hopefully we have the skin, the player if you like, and the user can play that, stop that, play it play around with the volume, uh, mute it, turn it back on, whatever, and that all works, which is exactly what we wanted it to do. So uh, that's it. Um, so we can close Flash now, and if we just look in this directory here, the videos directory, there's a couple of things we don't need. We don't need this HTML file anymore, so you can delete that. The only things we need is the Flash player, uh, the skin, the uh, and the this, well, you don't need this video thing, I've kept it in, but the three video formats that we need, the rest of it you can get rid of. So uh, that'll be it for this tutorial. What we're going to look at in the next tutorial is uh, some testing uh, in the other browsers to make sure that it works. And if we come across any problems, which I am, I'm actually not sure about, uh, we'll be able to resolve those. But for now, we know that in IE, uh, or an older version of IE, uh, that this is working, which is great. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.